Hey, Sandra Gerard here from The Worthier Part, SandraTWP.com, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about this book, If You Were Me and Lived in Colonial America. This is a really cute and engaging story, and, um, and I can really tell you, I think preschool up through early elementary would thoroughly enjoy having this book read to them, or if they're reading independently, reading through it themselves. Um, my boys have we're just squeaking out of that early elementary and we're we're firmly in the tweens and teens uh, area now so this would not be a book that I would expect them to pick up to read on their own however um, on occasion they do read to the younger children of friends and other church members and this book is so full of bits and bobs and little factoids and interesting things that I can really tell that if this is a book that they have an opportunity to read to a younger child, they're going to come back to the conversation with some things that they picked up through there, through this book. Just it's it's just got a lot of really interesting content in it. So that's what I want to get to is that you know how it is. You're a homeschooling mom. You're constantly looking. How can I find another place for my kids to be learning things, to be picking things up? You're just you're just trying to max out every learning experience. So while this is a fun read and an engaging tale, um, it is just full of good content that's put together in a sort of effective and uh, and really um, compact way. So the approach that the author Mrs. Roman has taken is she's talking about a colonial child who's living living in New England. So she's leveraging the familiar situation of the pilgrims, um, but she doesn't dwell on the traditional story that we always hear about. Um, she does do some flashback to their life in England before they came to this country and about how, um, how they were different. And at first, life in this part of the world was was very very hard but even after it wasn't quite so hard later it was still different than their life had been in england and for me reading through this as an adult it was fun to watch the juxtapositions of um matching how their life was different from living in europe and then living in this colony in undeveloped land and then to compare that with how the life of a colonial child is different from the life of a child in this modern day and you know sometimes it's just something as mundane as the clothing that they wear or the education you know um what kids were learning in uh the colonial era um, what they were learning and where they were learning. It was very different than what a modern day child is expected to be learned and where he or she is expecting to be learning it. So um, I encourage you to go ahead and take a look at this book. Um, it comes in a hard copy. This is paperback, but it's a print copy. It is also available on Kindle, which is what I have up here on my computer. Um, the illustrations are, are really fun and effective. You can see that she does a combination of uh, cartoon caricature type drawings with um, photography. And, and it's very illustrative, not just for the story, but for the uh, the information that she's presenting in there. Um, this book is also available through Kindle Unlimited. So if you are a Kindle Unlimited subscriber, like we are in our house, you can uh, download this book and read it and enjoy it with your children at no additional cost. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put links in the notes about this. I'm also going to put a link. Um, I put a review of this on my blog where I cover some slightly different topics if you want to take a look at that. Um, and uh, go ahead and check it out. And thank you so much for watching.